up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we have some big news gen 2 pokemon have been announced they are coming to pokemon pocket um there isn't a set date they're sort of saying end of december beginning of january when we have like an official announcement i will let you guys know but yeah gen 2 is coming gen 2 packs cannot wait um i want to share some tricks and tips with you guys so when gen 2 does drop you'll be ready and you can get the most and also just get an advantage over everyone else getting your hands on those Gen 2 Pokemon. So just before we do that, I just want to sort of touch on Gen 2. So Gen 2 are the Pokemon from Silver and Gold and there were some awesome legendaries in there. We had Lugia, Tyranitar, Suquin, uh, Entity as well. So really pumped for those guys and also some cute Pokemon as well like Tokopi. So yeah, cannot wait, cannot wait for this to drop. Um, and also they've said that this is going to help like freshen up the meta. They want to keep it fresh and interesting. So I'm here for that. And yeah, you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below because um, I cannot wait. Let me know which Pokemon you're looking forward to most dropping from Gen 2. So tricks and tips. The first one is hourglasses. So the pack hourglasses, we are not going to use any from now until Gen 2 drops. So if we come into our Pokemon packs, and let's just pretend we're going to open up Mewtwo. If we open up 10 packs, it's 120 hourglasses. You get that roughly in a week. So this means we're going to get probably between 40 to 60 packs that we can open straight off the back. And, you know, you normally want to open up a 10 pack, I get sort of three to four amazing legendaries that I'm after. So yeah, that's what we're, that's what we want. That will just be a huge game changer. And it's up to you. You could like do, you know, one in here, one in here, one in here, or just four or six straight into another one. Obviously it depends how many we get, but that is going to give you a massive lead over everyone else. You're going to be able to say there's a certain Pokemon you're after. You are going to be able to get that straight off the bat. And that's just going to be crazy that you'll just be able to pull 40 to 60 packs and just probably you, you have a very good chance of getting all the Pokemon you want. Whenever I've done this, I've had a huge, you know, just whenever I pulled a 10 pack, it's always been pretty huge. It's very rare that I've had nothing. So yeah, that will be, that's my number one tip right there. Number two is the wonder pick. So I feel that wonder picks really underrated and that's wrong. Wonder pick is sick. Wonder pick is one of my favorite places to pick up the Pokemon that I want. Um, I needed wheezing at one point. So actually I did use two wonder picks to pick up a wheezing. We've got a well, it's one in five, 20% chance of getting the Pokemon you want. That is very good odds. Um, and it's pretty cheap. It is pretty cheap for what it is. Um, I will use one wonder picks as well. And that is for if we can find one, if there's okay. Say there was an awesome support card like Misty or Koga. Sometimes they'll be here for like one. It's definitely worth going for it if you don't have them. There's a Nido Queen here as well. I actually need a Nido Queen, so I'm definitely gonna try and pick her up. Um, and if you see like an EX card or maybe one of these sweet water color Pokemon like Charmander, definitely go for it. But again, we're just gonna be saving up our Wonder Picks for this. And like I said, they are super cheap, and we've got 160 right now. So yeah, definitely want to save that. And then the last thing we're gonna do is the shop. So if we come into the shop, um, so I've picked up these hourglasses here. I don't think these are ever refresh. I think these are just sort of for beginners, which sucks because they are amazingly cheap. Um, but if we come down here, we're getting the reset soon. So when this resets, we're, you know, we're definitely gonna pick up the hourglasses, the pack hourglasses first. I always prioritize the pack hourglasses first, just because, you know, if you can pull a 10 pack, you definitely have better odds of getting not the Pokemon you want, but something, at least something. Um, and then I, then I get the, the one that hourglasses, but yeah. So we're saving up the shop tickets as well. I definitely should, I've been lazy. The real door has been lazy. He needs to pick up these wonder hourglasses as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And I guess the last thing would be is if we just come out and go to our quests, the missions and anything in here where we can start picking up. Um, if you come into premium, like in here, we can start to get our glasses as well. 
literally anything we can get our hands on to help us start stacking up the account. And yeah, we're going to have a huge advantage over everyone when Gen 2 drops. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you've got any tricks and tips that maybe I've missed for when Gen 2 drops. But um, yeah, I'm so pumped. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.